6th of January, uh, Epiphany for Christian people. Christmas trees, sad day for those. It's a weird thing for a Christmas tree, I think, in Epiphany, because 3rd of Jan, Christmas tree's still up, dropping everywhere like a mother but a lot of them are in the window aren't they, Christmas trees? So they can see what's what. They can see the, some of the other Christmas trees in, in the hood. Some of the Christmas trees are in the windows, proud as, and they see another Christmas tree lying in the road opposite with all its lights off and baubles. Maybe it was a Christmas tree that they were a bit intimidated by, a sort of better than them Christmas tree. And they basically see it lying there for dead in the road. And they think, Sorry, but they probably think, bad luck, mofo. He's got the brightest lights now, um, and a bit smug about it. They then start to sense that other Christmas trees are, are falling around them. They're looking around at all these Christmas trees. Some of them have been taken away, even. Brown bin people, please. <laughs> Anyway, so they're there and uh, saw it up, cut it into bits. But then on the 6th, they notice there's only one other, them and one other tree left or something. And then they see that tree get taken down. And uh, they're the only one left. No one likes seeing a dead Christmas tree on the side of the road, do they? Uh, no. That shed on the subject of unused paraphernalia of seasonal festivities. If you're, what's next? If you're Valentine's Day merchandise, if you're a chocolate heart right now in red foil in the M&S factory, you're about to go on the ride of your life. The next six weeks of your life are gonna be the best that you've ever known. So, or a rose. Well oh, I'm just trying to think what else comes out it's in February. Anything red, mind. basically. A little teddy bear with a heart sewn into its hands. <laughs> oh, you guys are in for a treat. Yeah, all the Valentine's stuff that's currently not left the factory. That will be lining, lining the Christmas area soon. You're in for a, a good ride. Those of you that are bought and used, let's not forget all the Valentine's cards currently in existence in the world that will never be sent. I knew when I took the job that yeah, I wasn't being given the job as an Easter bunny. Then a chapter about broken Easter eggs. I think this is where that's going. Melted eggs. I knew there'd be an element of, uh, well, I'm a trained pole dancer. I, I knew it wasn't that kind of a gig, but I wasn't expecting, I mean, basically at the moment we're kind of doing this is going to sound a bit weird, but it's a sort of burlesque version of Watership Down. Eggs that have just not made it in the, and then into the summer. Flip-flops never warm. Imagine living your life as a pair of flip-flops that's never warm. <laughs> Maybe even because you've been made in a freakish size. You've spent a decade in a flip-flop shop watching boxes and boxes of size eights and seven flying off the shelves and you're there a size 14 thinking why do i exist what is the point of me i'm a size 14 flip-flop and uh, eventually the shopkeeper agrees with you that's that in the bin what a life kind of long and useless life. You're there thinking, unless Shaquille O'Neal, Big Bird from Sesame Street or The Incredible Hulk visit this beach, I'm never gonna be warm. 
I'm never going to hear. They never hear themselves flipping and flopping. They hear the other flip-flops flipping and flopping out the shop, don't they? Because people put them on. People tend to buy flip-flops in an emergency situation from the beach. The sand is too hot, they're burning their feet, or for whatever reason they'll decide they need them there and then, and wear them out of the shop flipping and flopping. If you're a size 14 flip-flop, you'll never hear. Uh, your flip-flop noise. You're not even a flip-flop then. Not even a flip-flop. Just a bit of foam. Um, or rubber if you're a posh flip-flop. The posh flip-flops don't actually make... They don't have that kind of foam against your feet slap sound. Sort of canvas on rubber with straw stuck on it. And they don't have the satisfying um, cheap feeling of foam slapping your feet with every step that is so... Well, I want to say erotic uh, because nostalgic let's say let's go with nostalgic yeah flip-flopping up to post the postcards in Cornwall not only green when summer's here but also when it's cold and drear oh Christmas tree oh Christmas tree thy leaves are so unchanging oh christmas tree oh christmas tree such pleasure do 